I'll try to make a long story short because it's sort of <laughs> it started when I was a kid. Um, I kind of was the was the kid who watched movies over and over. Um, I really loved my blockbuster card, and I and I had a movie theater around the corner from my house, and so uh, you know my parents always took me. Yeah, you know, I just responded to filmmaking. That was supported by everyone around me, and eventually it was through all of my schooling. I had gone to a middle school and high school that that kind of specialized in. They had a couple of film programs, so I was doing lots of projects through there and sort of like honing my craft and experimenting there. And eventually, I went to Pratt Institute, and I did the uh, the film program there. And from high school, I, I had an internship with Radical Media, and that's really where things started to kind of come to, you know, I started in post-production there. Well, it's interesting because coming from post, you sort of learn about everything after production's over. So I was involved with like editing and uh, transcribing. Um, and then eventually I did like support work. So I was doing all kinds of technical things like deliverables and learning about codecs and, you know, tape delivery when that was, I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. <laughs> uh, but um, I, I think it was interesting because I learned a lot of uh, what to expect in post. And so that sort of helped me in production to know what not to do. And certainly what to provide post-production with uh, to better serve post. So it didn't, you know, it didn't really hinder their process. It, you know, it varies. I really try to I try to think about um, if if I connect with the project um, I like to know the subject matter I like to know who's involved who's directing where is this coming from um, and you know I honestly want to I, I want something to resonate with me because then I'll just be that much more involved and and interested and I like the I like the dedication to something like that so if I can connect with with the subject matter or, or the people working on it you know that's that's definitely something that I look for. I mean, it never really feels like work. Uh, that certainly helps. Well, I think documentary filmmaking is really interesting because it gives, at least for me, it's given me the opportunity to uh, meet people and go to places that I would probably never get to meet or go to. And I and you, you sort of have a different kind of access than you would in, let's say, a commercial setting or a, or a scripted film or something like that. You're, depending on the subject and, you know, what the goal of the film is, uh, you're in a lot of intimate situations with people. And um, I kind of enjoy the the bond that you sort of have with, with subjects over time. And you, you get you get real reactions and emotions out of it. And so I think that's that's the real benefit for me. Oh man, oh, I feel like I've been all over the place. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to pinpoint one. You know, you, you you sort of have all of these different. I feel like I have memories from all these different places. Um, you know, I've been everywhere from like Abu Dhabi to the Philippines to South Africa. So you know, it's it's it really depends on. You know, I I can't say I have one. <laughs> The director of the film, Andrew Freed, uh, he and I have known each other for many years. Um, in fact, I met him when I was interning at Radical Media. So we've known each other for, I feel like, maybe 15 years or so. And I've worked with him uh, on, on many different projects. And he called me one day and told me that there's this opportunity to sort of document this group of guys uh, getting back together to do uh, a month-long off-Broadway run. You know, it'd be really interesting to see where that was where that was going. And he had this kind of treasure trove of footage with them um, from from years before. This was really going to complete that story. So I was really excited to help help make that happen. It's really interesting to see where these guys sort of started. You know, and I had some experience too because I did the Hamilton's America documentary. I'd been in touch with Lin Manuel and um, I, you know a bunch of the, the cast members like Chris Jackson from the show and so I knew a little bit about Freestyle of Supreme already but then to get a deeper dive into you know see this like treasure trove of stuff when they were really starting their their group and and then where they where they really went with it is just really phenomenal we had our premiere was at the end of January in 2020 
So COVID wasn't real. I mean, it was obviously a thing. The U.S. didn't really respond until what was it? Maybe the end of February, maybe early March. We were sort of like, you know, it wasn't really an issue at Sundance, at least you know at the time. We're lucky. There were actually a couple of things that I was. I, I still had、uh, some projects into February. I was working kind of right up until we we locked down. I mean, it was kind of wild. You know, you sort of you sort of saw it coming, and you're sort of trying to predict what's going to happen, and、uh, and really just manage your expectations of like, okay, how serious is this? And you you know you learn what this really is, and I kind of knew that this this was going to be very very serious, and that you know this this wasn't going to be like a week long thing. It was you know it is what it is now, right? But I could have predicted that. I still had. Some great shoots、uh, right before then, so I was I was happy to get those in. There's not a ton I can say about each of them, but what I can say is that the Apple series is centered around mental health and mental wellness, and there are quite a few articles that have been written about that. So unfortunately, I can't speak too much to it. There's a bit written about it, and the、uh, the HBO documentary that I've been involved with is centered around the pandemic. Quite fascinating to to film around. I believe the Apple TV show should be out early this year. I'm thinking I think it's March or April, but I can't. I'm, I'm not totally certain. I think that the effects of this are 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 pretty serious, and I think that there's definitely change. I mean, anybody who's working in this in filmmaking in this industry、um, has experienced that change. Some people haven't been working at all, and some people have been. And even then, you know, there's the protocols are sort of all over the place. But you know, for the most part, everyone has been taking this very seriously. And I think overall, the practices that have been in place have made the made the production world a little bit better, a little bit safer for everybody. And I think everyone's just sort of like taking a step back. Learned what we really need to be doing. How long things take. There's a bit more patience. That's that's what COVID has really done to all of us, amongst other things. But I think it's really interesting to see the the industry change. I think that's the beauty of the industry. This one is always changing. There's always new equipment. There's always a new way of filming something, and there's always a story to tell. So there's no certainly no shortage of it, right? So we can always make something up or or find something to showcase. I think the premiere of the film was probably the most、yeah. real thing. You know, Sundance is like a is a thing. It's it's something that I've always had in my my viewpoint. I'm just like, can I can I even get there? Right? It's very exciting to be invited to something like that and have your film premiere there. Never in my wildest dreams. So, I think it's it's being in the theater. I think I think Reed Hastings was right behind me. There were some pretty powerful people in that room. And being able to celebrate with everyone, certainly with the cast, with my producers, with Andrew, Serena Roma. I mean, it was celebrating the fruits of your labor, and、uh, and having such a positive response from it too. Everyone really enjoyed the film, and it's it's on. It's like something you kind of need right now. Just a film about <laughs> friendship. <laughs> I'm I'm happy for people to be seeing. We are freestyle love supreme. And check out the other show that's available right now on Netflix called Lennox Hill.